Welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. Today, I'm going to show you how to use prompt engineering techniques to ask ChatGPT and other large language models the right questions. If you are unfamiliar with ChatGPT, feel free to click on the link above so that you can learn what it is all about. Let's get started. I pulled up a new window of ChatGPT and I'm going to ask a basic question. What are the best universities? However, this question is very vague. As ChatGPT says, determining the best universities can vary. This is because we're not specific. However, I can ask it a more specific question. What are the best computer science universities? And this will give me a different answer. And if I don't like this output, I can actually regenerate it by just hitting refresh. And sometimes this will give the same answer, but sometimes it will give a different answer. And you'll see at the bottom, it says two out of two because we hit refresh once. And if you don't like your original answer, you can change your question, make it more specific, or you can hit regenerate and it's going to give you something brand new. What I actually wanted to know is what are the best computer science universities according to US News and World Report. So I can make the question even more specific and it's going to list the 10 according to that. And there's your top 10 universities. So what we learned from this example is that you can make your question more specific so that ChatGPT knows what you're thinking. You can also hit refresh and it will generate it again and it might use different information because it might have a different variety of sources it's pulling from when getting information. Let's create a new chat here and say, how do I make lasagna? And it's going to come up with one specific recipe. But you might say, I don't like this recipe. I like a different one. Well, this is where we can be more specific. Also, different people have different skills. What's your goal or intent with this? Who are you serving it for? There's a variety of factors. And when plugging up, question into a large language model such as chat cpt we can actually use a formula what's the context what's the specific information what's the intent or goal and also do we want the response formatted in a specific way such as step by step bullet points one paragraph and in reality we want to give it the most information and output something that's useful for us. Therefore, it would be better to have a prompt that follows this formula. And I'll say, I'm a beginner cook. That's the context. Can you give me a simple recipe with 10 ingredients max of how to make lasagna with no meat? So that's the specific information. Then what's the goal? I am making this for five people and only have two hours. And I'm also telling it to list the instructions step by step. Let's see what it gives us. It gives us something with 10 ingredients and list it step by step and says it should take one and a half to two hours to prepare and cook. Let's say I really like this but don't understand step number two. I can ask a clarifying question by saying, can you explain step two in further detail? I'll input that and it's gonna give us a response for step two in further detail. As we see here, it's bullet points within step two now. But it's important to remember that ChatGPT is just a large language model, so it may be pulling this recipe from a variety of sources. So we don't know whether this recipe is actually good or not. 
or just a combination of four different recipes. So it might be better to ask, can you give me a website for the recipe instead? And it comes up with a variety of websites, such as the Food Network, to choose from. And you can go there and get a recipe for vegetarian lasagna there. We also know that ChatGPT has limits since it's just a large language model and is trying to predict the next word. So it doesn't do a great job with math that is very complicated. We can ask ChatGPT what this is. It's going to give a response. However, let's go to Google now and use a calculator and see if it's right. 5.306877 times 10 to the 12. And this is not the right answer because it's probably not seen this multiplication before, so it doesn't know the answer. I can also ask it again. Same exact question, different answer. See, it ends in 828. Here it ends in 206. Just because you ask ChatGPT a question, it may not give you the correct answer. It's important to verify with external sources and to know its limitations. Thank you so much for watching. Next time, we will see how to use ChatGPT to write code. Make sure to follow along with this video series by subscribing and hitting the notification bell or by clicking on the next video so that you can expand your knowledge about ChatGPT and other large language models. And as always, I can't wait to see you next time.